Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here. Let's start a new campaign in Equestrian War playing as uh, the Griffin Liberation Army. But right now we're looking for some support in Lushi. There's a small but dedicated partisan group that supports the cause in the Lucian Forest. We should make contact with this group and ask them to join us in our final push of the Civil War, which... It's definitely looking like one heck of a civil war. Um, hopefully we can encircle these guys, kill them off, and we'll see what happens. Uh, no, sir, please go that way. Please, sir. Yes, please. Yes. Hopefully we don't lose too much land here, but you never know, of course. Um, hmm. Actually, at this point, you might as well do this. Have one solid front line, if possible, and uh, we'll see what happens. I've never done this before, so we'll see. Oh, and we get encircled. How delightful is that? Possible support for the principal team Lushi. Currently, there are several communist groups in Lushi. We should send our envoy and beg for the support in our final push of the Civil War. Yes. Supporting Griffiths. There are several partisan groups hiding out in the forest of the northern part of Griffiths. We must send an envoy and ask them to join us in the final push of the Civil War. Mm, you know what? You stop attacking. And you surround the capital now. And then you do that, maybe. Ooh, what do you go down here first? You hold first. Go to 12th. Good. Break him out. They can take that towel. No one cares. Um, what else? And they just abandoned the capital. Okay. There's several parts of groups right hiding out in the forest of the northern part of the Griffiths. We must send an envoy and ask them to join us in the final push in our own civil war. It's a much better option than fighting the force endlessly with victory nowhere in sight. Oh, uh, support and Griffian host. The few roving bandits in the foothills of the Griffonian host that have been known to be helpful to our cause. We should at least make the attempt to get them to join us in the final days of the Civil War, whether they'll actually join or not. So how many victory points do we have to take? This is kind of ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. So we have these guys all encircled, which is nice and all. But, like, there's nothing we can do. I want you to hold. Can you snake your way down here and go to Sidia? Volunteers denied. Lucius denied a request for help in the struggle against monarchism and oppression. Well, that's not good. Could you come down here and then you go beeline for that tower down there? Um, you have to force defense. I'm sorry, but force defense. Uh, defensive doctrine, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Possible support. Uh, there are many groups of griffins who are dead, tired of the despotic government of the Griffonian host and the endless and useless attacks on the River Federation. Well, surely join us in our fight for freedom if we promise to liberate the nation next. Yes. Uh, militia? Fight for a cause. It's not bad. Our next suggestion does go down, though. Adapt or adopt potato farming. Rifles of a new millennium. That's nice. Let's get factory. In order to wage a civil war effectively, we must make rifles and do so that we must have metal for said rifles. In order to do this, we must melt anything we're capable of into scrap it metal so we're able to produce even more weapons. Take it, take it, take it. Is that it? Please, for the love of God, tell me that's it. Oh, God, we got him. Woo, baby. I was getting worried there. I was getting a little worried. Fun. Volunteers arrive. Finally, the three towns Griffiths have arranged for more volunteer brigades to help us in our struggle against or struggle to spread the revolution. Fantastic. Thanks for playing. Revolutionary Guard, sure, thanks. Thanks for showing up, guys. Finally showing up after the Civil War is over. Um, we can do that too. That's fine. Political power? Now what do we do? Sell the work bird? Sure. Oh. Oh! Everything auto bypass. So if you're wondering about these, please go ahead. Fight for a cause, adopt potato farming, militia. Rice field training, partisans, and push ups. Lord's labs. Huh. Stalingrad's help. Fight the bandits. Board security. Fort Assidia. Fate of the Lord. Hunt down the prince. Eradicate the literacy would be nice. Root out the supporters of the old. Victory in the Civil War. Let's probably do that one first. We've won the war for workers' independence. The war Civil War is finally over, and now we're able to look inwards at repairing a war torn country rather than fighting for our very lives and freedoms. Probably a good idea. Uh, doing works. Form the EVA nation? Form the Proud Republic. The principal of Lushi offers friendship. The principal of Lushi wants to establish an embassy in our lands. They cite sympathies for the suffering of the peasants of Pride when unless reforms in their own country which will prevent the peasants of Lushi to suffer the same fate. Furthermore, they list common interests such as trade and defense as good reasons to cooperate, but the country is ruled by a prince and nobles, and we still have contact with supporters trying to rally communism in Lushi too. Lushi gives us offer. See what happens. They did uh, say no to us, but for the last two years of the lands of when Prywin had been ravaged by the Civil War, the name Prywin was never officially used to designate this country. Broadfell was used to do so before the Civil War. This name originates from the birthplace of the royal family, however. The majority of the population always called themselves Prywins. As we are fighting for freedom of our people, it's us who shall fulfill their self determination. The Prywin Republic shall be established. Nice. 
victor in the Civil War, Industrial Revolution? Uh, let's do Volunteers Denied. Curses. Fate of the Lord. With the Civil War won, we should find the old Lord of the Land so that we may try him in a fair court of our laws for his crimes against the people of our country. The Civil War is over. For after years, or actually, let's see, Prime Civil War, oh good God. Risk of famine, of course, and then victory cheer. After years of war, we finally manage to liberate all of Prywin from the monarchists. There's much to be done now, as the war has left our nation devastated and our people starving. We must begin efforts to rebuild the country in order to secure a prosperous future for people. Also, we're on a historical, so I'm not sure that's going to do anything, but time to rebuild. Oh, crap. We lose even more political power, man. Holy crap. Hunt down the prince. We must make efforts to find the prince before he flees the country, so that's a teacher lesson to any peoples wanting to try to reinstitute the dead monarchy to power. The king, the final king, the crimes committed by the rulers of Broadfield are unforgivable. It is of the utmost importance that the former king, Clozau, Clozu, be captured and put on trial for his crimes. We must not allow the tyrant to escape justice, and hence we must uh, immediately instruct all echelons of power and power to find out and arrest him. We'll find him. We'll definitely find him. Um, mass line. Eradicate a literacy. We root out the supporters of the old. We must ensure that monarchism or monarchy never returns to the country. By asking any and all monarchy supporters, they will also be removed by force if necessary, and as quickly as we are able to do so. The old ways are dead, and the new ways shall rise. But the king has escaped. After weeks of fruitless search, we believe that we have finally cornered King Kozu in the home of a family sympathetic to the royalist cause. It was soon revealed, however, that the individual our police was tracking was not, in fact, the king, but a double with a striking similarities to Kozu. Under torture, the double revealed that his sole purpose was to throw us off the king's trail, and that he was, in all likelihood, already far from pride winning territory. The king has eluded to grasp most likely for good. Darn fools, this is a disaster. What do you mean? We'll try to find the king. Not a country back from Lushi. The bourgeois and imperialists of Lushi are back with a new proposal. It seems that they're afraid of the people's army and are seeking non aggression back with us. The one, the claw, this would. On one claw, this would defend one of our most vulnerable flanks from invasion. On the other claw, such a deal might be a massive disappointment to those who press Griffin's Lushi. Search for the prince. We must not allow the Prairie to return to the oppression of a king ever again. To this end, we must hunt down and capture the, the heir to the throne of the Broadfeld as soon as possible. The hunt is on. Pragmatic. Did they. They. Ignore us, didn't they? Did they ignore us? I can't remember now at this point. Despotism, huh? You know what? No. 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 And the prince was captured. After citizens reported seeing a griffin matching the prince's description in the part of the city, our police managed to stop him from boarding a ship bound for a question in the last minute. The prince was arrested in prison immediately. What should we do with him? Hanging publicly in the white flower? Just execute him, no need for a show. Let him rot in jail. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't know. Can we use him as bait later? Or could, could that be used against us in the future? Hang on, I want the stability of political power, but let him rot in jail. Research. Ooh. Now, over here, we do have either isolationism. Ooh, requires our foreign policy. We can do expansionism. Or we can do global revolution. That sounds like fun. March to Griffinstone. Secure this place, too. Secure the heart. I kind of want to take everyone out as much as possible. Rifles of a new millennium. Our old muskets are fine weapons of liberation. However, we must keep up with modernizing the world around us. Ergo, we must develop new modern rifles to arm our soldiers with. Which, actually, Eagle Claw. Eh, whatever. Find well, the monarch supporters. While we may have been victorious in the Civil War, but monarchists and counter revolutionaries still exist in private. If we should secure all that we have accomplished here, these reactionary elements must be dealt with. How, how, how big should our effort be to find these traitors? They're not important? Find them at any cost. Let's go eradicate illiteracy. We must eradicate any and all signs of illiteracy from a people. While we were at war for freedom, such illiteracy was passable. But now that we have time and the will to change, the issue will not be accepted in a forward thinking society. We need more guns. Artillery, we have we're really really behind on things. Just really, really behind. Victory here for now, which is only gonna be here for a little bit. We might run out of food to eat, which is not good. Agricultural rights. Sounds like we should probably do that one. Civil war effect fades off. Our nation's finally starting to recover from the Civil War that tore the country asunder. Great. Fight the bandits. Uh, foreign policy, black hollow mines. Eradicate illiteracy, please. Thank you. Industrial Revolution probably is a good one to do. Let's do Industrial Revolution. With the war now over, we can focus on our industrial sector and the modernization of it. We must first revolutionize our factory system, and a good way to do so is to begin with the reforms and new constructions in the civilian and peacetime sector. Better guns, yes, please. Uh, revolutionary militias, okay. Revolutionary. Wait, guards are even worse than the militia. Okay. Civil war up there. There you go. That's better. 
Garrison divisions, revolutionary guards, non-divisions, volunteer brigades. All quite sad. Nice. Yeah, this is what we could do next. Yeah. Focus on the industrial sector. So that's all done. We can do push-ups, selling goods, help climb the mountain. Focus on the big guns, use some magic. Our own plane, so... Uh, it's not terrible. Magical war, conventional warfare, integrity of efforts. Technological warfare. Well, industrial revolution. I still won't be bad either. That's not bad too. But this one, let's do agriculture rise. I don't know, because we have a famine, but you never know. While we made a good couple of decent strides towards not starving ourselves, we must still overhaul our agricultural industry before we once again balance on a nice edge in regards to our food situation. As such, we must provide incentives to farmers, making farming itself a more appealing job. And then, what was it the labs thing here? Mass line? Um, has adapted Lord's Labs. So after we do agricultural stuff, where are the labs? Ah, it's up here. Okay. So maybe do that one too. That'd be pretty good. The late Lord has found several old research labs hidden away that we've come to discover upon our victory fall in the war. We should attempt to adapt these labs for more modern purposes. The cave commune reaches out in proletarian solidarity. The Griffins of Griffin hosts have overthrown the reactionary government and wish to ally with us and display a socialist brotherhood. How should we respond? We are equestrian socialists. These are equestrian socialists as well. Cornelio Kurashevich. Ah. Which I have not played. I have not played as most of these nations before. So, uh, we welcome our new comrades. Create a faction and join. They join our faction. They're, they're revisionists. We cannot risk our revolution by associating with them. So, I guess now we have to make make a decision whether we want to do expansionism or global revolution. Which we can infiltrate others as well. Bit of Lucy. Uh, global revolution sounds like fun. We get more daily common support. I pref kind of prefer this one, just because you get more non-core pony power. Better just by war goals times. But then again, we do move pretty fast in this mod anyways. I like the political power, but... Um, you know what, let's go with maybe Global Revolution? For now, maybe? We could try it as we're still doing Industrial Revolution, Agricultural Rise, and our other focuses. The revolution is safe. After weeks of search, we believe we have finally captured and imprisoned all reactionary elements within the nation. We will not be put to trial, and the worst of them shall never see the light of day again. At this point, it seems highly unlikely that the counter-revolutionary forces will ever be able to organize a militia and pry one again. Great. Great. News with revolutionary unity plus 50% stability. Wow. Peaceful research with Lushi. The nobles of Lushi have asked for our help yet again. They want us to sign a research treaty, working together on important research. Will we accept their help to make the world a better place? No, of course not. We're trying to finish up agricultural rise. And we've done uh, the Lord's Lab and a Broadfield tank blueprints. Article please. So if you don't know about that, please go right ahead. Uh, mass line. Defense industry. Let's see. How about border security? While the Civil War is thankfully over, we should institute a border guard of lightly armed small sized units so as to serve as outlooks in case of a future war that we must defend ourselves during. And fight the bandits, maybe. The Black Rock Band was made to rise up against us during the Civil War whilst we were busy warring with Broadfields. We have now forgotten to stand upon our relations and therefore it's time to take the fight back to them. We shall cleanse the bandits from the mountains and reclaim their lands for ourselves. Black Bandit Robins. Ah. Hollow. Uh, great. And also, the Kaiev government is fighting a civil war now. They're not doing so well against the Griffinian host, so... Yeah. It is what it is. And for security, this one's a way. Black Hollow. County of Black Hollow. So how strong is Black Hollow? Surreal Blue Crest. We have no manpower now. Um, which does suck. Not a lot of manpower. We actually might be taking them on, so that actually might be really good. Let's see what we can do about them. Supply is probably going to be really god-awful, but, you know, whatever. Um, military training would be good as well. I'd like to get to at least extensive conscription for now. Agricultural rise is really good, though. First stepping stone is not good. <clears throat> Quite not good. But we got plenty of political power, though, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, okay, extend. Um, let's grab you. You get more daily arm XP, and that's something I'm, I'm really just more focused on. There's not much we can do about this one either, because. Well. Get us an attache, but that's pretty much it. Honestly, probably wouldn't have been bad, but still. Board security. Get some eagle claws going. Nice. Oh, divisions. Oh, oh, oh. Nine combat with, and there's. Oh, Jesus Christ! Never mind. They're really bad. There you go. Do that. And civil war effect fades off. Good. Oh, oh, great. They actually won. Our nation's finally starting to recover from the civil war that has torn this country asunder. Nice. 
Very nice, actually. Dab the shit up a little bit more. Obviously, still not good, but it's definitely better than what was. Military theorists would be good, so we can get stuff down as fast as possible. He's got basically no strength. Richard Speer? We're called Speer. Very nice. Good. Anyway, it looks like we got a lot of divisions. They're just not very good. Doing supply issues? Oh, definitely in the south. Oh, good god. Um, fight the bandits. Our foreign policy would not be bad either. How about defense industry? Establish volunteer schools. With our initial education reforms making good progress, we are prepared to open voluntary schools where people can both learn and volunteer to teach subjects that they've already grasped or learn easily. One of the most ideal situations is the best we have a lack of well-educated tutors. Can we take a mountain to do really well here? We have a claim on all their territory. Probably be best to go ahead and save it just in case. Maybe we want to consolidate some of these units as well. Honestly, that'd probably be for the best. Go and they can consolidate. Go ahead and consolidate. Seven divisions become five, become three. Probably just become one. Yeah. Doesn't really help with supply, but hey, it's, it's nice. Did they attack us? Oh, you guys are here too. It helps out. Oh, I forgot about that. Nice. Revolutionary Guards, nice. Even though. Oh my god, you're only four combo with. Well. Attacking like a bunch of banshees won't really help anybody, so let's not do that. Just go around them. Maybe. Sure, guys, if you want to help us out, that's fine. We did a naughty witch as well. Go in. A little, just keep him busy. Black Hollow, yes, please. You guys go up there next. Keep these guys in place. Just, literally, just do not let them move. Ne never mind. All right then. That was very nice. Um, there's no connection to the right side here, which is not. Oh, you don't even. Have to, oh my gosh. We can't. Don't even have civilian trains. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, civilized the bandit lands. 150 days with political power and civilian factories, and then but you get core that stuff. Civil war effect fades off. Good. Hey, more manpower. Nice. Um, naval XP. Maybe we do that and then start training again. I suppose. Gives us more army XP. Would be very nice. Oh, but our research is probably really got off of. Oh, do we not have these? Core. Oh, they're already core states. Wait, what? Oh, we get corded immediately, and then this just already happens. Okay, that's not bad. Now we got a boost in manpower. All right, not bad. Not bad, not great. We can't connect any of these guys, which really, 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 really sucks. But okay, mass line. How about a foreign policy instead? Well, the Civil War troubles finally at end, we must now stop looking inwards and begin to look outwards towards the countries around us and our plans for dealing with them. <clears throat> Black Hollow Mines, we could use a steel and tungsten. Not really, we're kind of okay for now. Um, I like this one, mass line. With the Civil War over, we can focus on developing our civilian and industrial sector and overall improving our people's quality of life without the country. Uh, something lacking under the iron boot of the former monarchist regime. And then we'll do uh, Kavsin University. Kavsin University would be a new center of education of higher learning for a country. Not only this, but the proposed research center to be added to the university shall be incredibly useful in further research and Now everyone, it's time for a global, little bit of a global revolution. We're now prepared to spread a revolution far and abroad. To bring the liberation of the workers that we have received to their doorsteps. None shall stop in our just mission and the bright reds of revolution will soon find homes in all states across the globe. Hopefully. And uh, let's do... Oh, maybe we should have done the other one. Maybe not. Claims on Salt Mark. Where's that one? Not quite. Salt Marked. No? Hmm. Salt Main, Salt Island, Salt Lick. Huh. Oh. Salt Island. Wait, what? We already own it, though. Oh, they have you already put that. Please go ahead. Nice. Uh, infiltration of Lushi. Staff and center infiltrates the prince body of Lushi as to begin operations towards the coming revolution. Because we might as well. Also, we did get rid of the uh, effect of uh, Civil War Troubles, so we're actually doing quite well right now, actually. And I'm going to go with Ground Sport for more air speed already, daily air XP, which would be very, very nice. Industry does take a long time for us. Actually, there's, everything takes a long time to research, which does kind of suck a lot. 
Um, but we're getting there. We're definitely trying to modernize and get there. We are mobilizing a little bit more, which is nice. And then March to Griffinstone. Ooh, Griffinstone. Ordenstadt Angreva. What is this? Hera Eichberg. Huh. Neo feudalism. The Republican resistance. Sky Falls and Thrall Bank Ockerlin. Huh. And Ordenstadt. Our destiny. Hey. Not bad. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, infantry, do we have enough support? Yes, we do. It's good. Let's start expanding some of these guys so that they just focus a little better. And we still need civilian trains, but it just, like I said, researching things just takes so long. Um, push ups. Let's do defense industry. It's only one though for 84 days. Oh my goodness. Let's do state public schools. Whether education reforms on the right track to fully eliminating any and all Ill illiteracy amongst our population. Now that we've got some properly educated Griffins willing to teach other Griffs, we can institute a public school system to begin exponentially educating every Griffin who calls their new state their home. Infiltration of Lushi. A call for a force of infiltrated Lushi carrying with them valuable weapons and equipment. The people of Lushi arm themselves and rise up against their oppressors. Oh, they're actually at war with someone else right now, though. Well, we'll probably go Spirit Firepower for this one. Probably? Probably. You know, we'll like some motorized stuff, but whatever. Let's get the first one done for now. Stalling Grad in our town? Um, who are they fighting? The Heidenreich stuff. Revolutionaries are successful. Our countless revolutionaries in the Principality of Lushi were successful in rallying up the population, but people rapidly spreading the word. A change in government for a forceful revolution seems imminent. Hurrah. Rosa Heidenreich. Oh. He Heidenreich's takeover? How did you do that? How did you do that? Teach the illiterate. Nice. Well, they're currently at war, so yeah. Well, I guess we'll do the next one. Uh, infiltration of Griffiths. Time to set an of Griffiths as we begin operations towards the coming revolution. Might as well. That's not bad. Only point zero five gone. I do like that construction speed, so we'll go with that person. Come inside if you want to build up his great head. Make a sacrifice to Mar. Boris, protect us. Boris, protect us. Slowly, slightly going up. And it keeps the aluminum, but other than that, not bad. 15 is pretty darn decent, too. Even though we need more guns, we got nothing really else here. I feel like we're playing such a backwards nation. Three towns of Griffiths. Oh, man. Yev de Varitore. Alright, not bad. County town down here, eh? Well, there really is no supply down there. So, infiltration? Why not? Follow it up with... Push-ups? We should begin to reform our revolutionary militia into a proper military force. The best way to do that is to begin to institute the pro proper disciplinary measures. Uh, the separate an army unit from the people's militia. Well, would you look at that? The Civil War and Lucian peasants. Or, in, in peasants. Uh, after weeks of instability, Civil War has finally erupted in Lucian peasants. Well, help of comrades. A curious discovery, though. War has spread quickly in the countries by unique creatures that were found on the outskirts of the white flower. They're small, colorful, and round creatures with insect wings as well as large and daring eyes. The locals who discovered them have been enamored with them and told them or about them to their neighbors, which is how the news began to spread. Now, many individuals are flocking to the place where the creatures were found to be taking a look at them. The discoverers are apparently giving out them as pets in exchange for valuables. It's uncertain how they captured so many of them, but it seems like the creatures are easily tameable. Somehow, everybody noticed how the creatures have a voracious appetite for food. The yet unnamed creatures have become a countrywide craze, but it will likely blow over soon once the discoverers have traded off all of them. They seem like nice pets. It might be dangerous to confiscate them at once. They seem like nice pets. Uh, ooh. Oh, are we at war? Oh, Principality of Lushi. Oh, I guess we are at war. Go figure. Um, I don't think we'll need very much here, in all honesty. So, we just go go in. There you go. Good job, guys. This is technically a civil war, and they're still fighting the uh, other group here, but whatever. Hey, how about an encirclement? Or, yeah, just die. There you go. Nice, guys. Very good. Good job. Pats on the back. Now, these guys might be climbing to go to war again. A bandit state. Ooh. Are you like Delvanga? Ah, oh, supremacist. Very cool. Oh god, supply issues. Ugh. 
Kind of so lonely, so it's fine, whatever. We're out of guns, we need more artillery. It is what it is. Ay, ay, ay. The fate of Lushi. It's time to decide the fate of Lushi. Will they come to a better way or of thinking, or must we bring the revolution to the doorstep by force of arms? Oh, we stand ready to support the communist elements within the free towns of Griffiths. Although oppressed and trampled down upon, they may yet be able to save their people from bourgeoisie tyranny with significant or sufficient support for the proletariat. The infestation. Apparently, the craze surrounding the strange new creatures, now commonly known as para, para sprites, has not died down. In fact, they seem to be everywhere now, and their hunger has no limit. It's been reported that they reproduce asexually and rapidly, consuming everything edible they can. In one isolated case, a para sprite was locked up in a cage and given no food, which resulted in the creature simply consuming the cage. They are truly omnivorous, though seem to prefer regular food when possible. It's estimated that there are thousands of parasites on the loose, raiding pantries, and even emptying public food stores. The commoners are doing everything they can to deal with the pests, killing them with tools, or even using fire, but the parasites reproduce too rapidly. This seemingly harmless fad has become a threat to our homeland. Well, do something. Oh man, there reminds me of like Ratchet and Clank. What is that? The proto protopad, right? Protopad. What's going on here? Killing each other, huh? Nice. Berkshire Villages, Fate of Lushi. Um, uh, hmm. Revolution successful. Our communist revolutionaries in the free town of Griffiths were successful in rallying up the population, and the people are rapidly spreading the word. A change of government or forceful revolution seems imminent. Hurrah. Nice. March of Griffinstone. In spirit of the revolution, we march on the home of the Griffin kind, who now is controlled by the evil chains of monarchy. Uh, this should be the finest hour for revolution. We march for victory. Griffinstone, huh? Well, we can't do that without having a supply. So, civilian chains are in order next. Probably. Probably. Uh, Revolutionary Guard, huh? Not very good. There you go. Uh, after weeks of instability, the Civil War is finally erupted in Union of Griffiths. We'll help our comrades. There we go. Alright, everybody, let's go on over. And have a good old time. What a great time so far. An unexpected salvation. Despite our best efforts, it seems like we're unable to save our food stores as a pair of surprise and simply ate their way through any walls or doors to matter the material. No matter the material. Any pesticides have been proven uh, unuseless as well. Famine seemed inevitable, inevitable as our citizens lost hope. Then a watering band of musicians arrived and here in the plight of our country decided to play a mournful song in the middle of the capital. They gathered quite the crowd of gloomy commoners, but also a pair of surprise who seemed to be enthralled by the music. Realizing this, the band of musicians began marching around, attracting more and more pair of sprites, and soon our citizens made their own improvised musical bands to attract pair of sprites from many, as many places as possible. The pests were then let outside of several areas at the edge of wilderness where they could feast as much as they wanted. The country was saved and the band of musicians were regarded as heroes, but they left the country as soon as the pair of sprite problem had been dealt with, refusing any awards or accolades. Despite our best efforts to track down these mysterious minstrels, we've been unable to do so. Well, it's finally over, at least. Uh, war bombs would actually be pretty darn decent. Uh, construction, supply hub, construction. Well, I can't even do that, so... Any more millions would be nice, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do push-ups next. Yeah. That'd be good. You know, it's good for army XP doing it like this. Lost about a thousand so far. I want to wait for an LSU gentle being, so. Um. Tiller design is not bad. Eh, go there to the designer, because we can, why not? Alright, oh god, we need trucks first, don't we? Oh, trains, okay. Bidalushi, we should send an envoy to Lushi asking for the formal annexation. You didn't give it to us, right? Right? They reject us. The governor of Lushi has sent back an envoy, declining a request for integration. Unwilling to discuss the matter, our envoy has been told that the very suggestion of such a thing is grave insult to Lushi Nation. Well then. We should have just taken him out. Should have just straight up annexed them. Successful revolution, huh? Toad artillery, nice. I understand how they can hold out. I know supplies for us are very bad, but still. Jesus Christ, just let us force the attack, god dang it. Come on. Force it. Force it. 
You have to take at least one stay here. You have to. I don't care what happens. Win in one of these goddamn states. Thank God, I got civilian trains unlocked. Thank God. Trucks. Gotta have trucks. Everyone get in here. No. You're gonna keep going until you die. Either they die or you die. What? Lucian peasants asked for help. The peasant revolt in Lucia was successful. However, the newly formed government could not control the armed mob that was once the revolutionary army. The peasants need political and economic education. Should we help them? Our comrades? Of course. God, this is painful doing it like this. But there's really nothing else we can do, so. Climb a mountain. With the massive amounts of mountains dotting our home continent, we will be wise and do some, some some form of high altitude training courses as prepared for such combat trainings. Jesus Christ, just win already, my god. We're butchering our own population to do this stupid stuff. God, I hate this nation so much. Jesus Christ, that took way too long. That's so stupid. I you can't even figure out how to get railroads. My god, now it's too late to take these guys out. God dang it. Lucian Republic, huh? Well, we'll have a Griffonian Empire to deal with. That's really, really, really not good. Out of Empire 2, huh? Can we just now build this? Jesus Christ, it's so stupid. Alright, they're still going to war with people. As soon as we go to war with the Aquilian Republic, we'll probably go to war with them too. Oh wait, I didn't mean to click them. Well, how can you... That's not even lit up, basically. Dang it. Eh, whatever. Climb the mountains. Fate of Griffiths. So I'm going to the Fate of Griffiths. Will they come by the way of thinking, or we must bring the revolution to the doorstep by force of arms? Followed up with Marshal Griffinstone? Yeah, probably. The spirit of a uh, revolution marching on the home of Griffin County that now is controlled by the evil trans monarchy. We, we, this should be the finest offer of the revolution. We march towards victory. Well, at least that's a bright idea. Our proposal was accepted by the leadership of the Union of Griffiths. The Union of Griffiths has agreed to join us in a glorious struggle to build one big communist union in Griffonia. Wow. Oh, we don't even get a core of them. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's not good. Um, I don't even want to see what these divisions are like in all honesty. Border guards, revolutionary guards... Now, this one's not bad. You already have anti-air and support artillery. We already have, like, 18 combo with here. So, it's not bad, but... I kind of prefer what we already have. Go there. Go there. And go there. Nice. Not bad. I got more factories, too. Hey, would you look at that? Not terrible. Could be better, though. Could be a little better, but that's alright. Uh, service by requirement. Oh, I'd like to go there, but still. You know, in the meantime, let's get the agency going. So, we start putting down resistance... Get another operative slot, so... Ugh. I hope we can core some of the stuff. Secure the Heartland, Griffin Stone, Emma needs more on all hide, on hides. Ugh. We need more population. Requires Marsh Griffin as a war with the King Morgan Bardi. Yeah, it looks like we might have to do this. I don't want to do this immediately, but we need Vampire now. Here's the supply situation. Six, resistance is going up. Total war. Uh, northern pressure. Well, these guys are fighting these guys down here. It might honestly be the best time to go fight these guys, maybe. Oof. I'm not sure if we're really ready for a war like this. We take everything we got, and then some probably. Um, let's see how bad it is first, though. Let's go with that one. And how badly are we hurting for supplies? Marsh Griffin Stone. Um, 
defense industry, or the socialist victory over the monarchy upsetting the political balance of the entire continent, we must be prepared to defend ourselves from those looking to return things to the former status quo. As such, we must begin developing a weapons industry to aid in our defense against future aggression. Oh, good God, it's so bad down here. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually, up north, which is pretty decent, actually. But down here, it's pretty god-awful. Oh my gosh. How strong are these guys? Jesus Christ, how strong are they? Flight artillery experience? Yeah, I don't know if we can do anything against these guys. Even if they're at war with other people. Help keep resistance systems low. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually take these guys out. We could try. Because we have no manpower either, but is it supposed to be this difficult to play as a nation? Goodbye, manpower. Oh, we could always try it. If it doesn't go well, we don't fade and fade out and see what happens. Now, well, so far, not bad. But you never know. Good working conditions would be probably pretty decent to do. Um, that one too. Ooh. Took a turn for the worst right there. Oh wait, what? What? What'd you? What'd you leave? I told one division to go. Oh my gosh! How stupid are you, divisions? Oh my goodness! Wow. Well, the bronze croix, sure. Just throw you on the line up here. Up or down here, I guess technically. Hope these guys hold out. Oh man, it's not looking good for us. Hope we get a lot of army XP though. Because we are slowly losing to these guys. This guy's actually looking okay ish down here. This guy, Navy de Declaration? Huh. We are the creatures of Sky Navy, declare a new era, one where the government serves the people, and they are free from the chains of capitalism, where no one will go to bed hungry, and they are free from imperialism, where all cultures and races will be free to live the way they choose without free of power hungry tyrants, an era in which ponies, griffins, zebras, and all other races under the sun can live in true harmony without fear of oppression, and our homeland of socialism is beginning to bear fruit. Here the evils of capitalism <clears throat> are disappearing, and, well, we have a navy, uh, and the community has developed new vigor. Today we are proposing or proving the merits of our cause. Every day, though, our enemies get stronger. The bandits of the mountains, the kingdom of Vadina, and the Griffonian Republic all seek more power and wealth. Though, if the whispers of what lays to the Far East are true, then we are face, then we face beings far greater than the mere mortal foes. We must liberate the beings of this world from the minority who enslaves the majority. We renounce capitalism and its greed it fosters. We reject imperialism and the tyrant it brings. Our hearts are pure, our minds open, our people strong for the revolution for the people. I didn't know we had ships here. Since when? Oh. There's no way we can beat anybody up here, but we can try. How much manpower do they have? Wing, wing Barty? Way too much. Always gonna be my answer. How much manpower do you have? Way, 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 way too much. Cornelio Kurashev assures us of his support. A short notice from my comrades in Kyiv arrived today that the recent Sup Supreme Soviet has decided that it would conform to us in regards to foreign policy. Philip Redglad expressed satisfaction in this turn of events, for the situation was still unstable, and much more was needed to be done before socialism could be spread. This move only served to deepen the friendship between the Griffins of Private and Griffia. Two comrades, one and all. Steel works. End of the modern age. With their industrial forms complete, we are in the precipice of making our mark upon the world as a whole. To do so, however, we must finish our efforts of modernization, and so that we may become a true beacon to other states on the continent. So I'm going to be looked up to and respected as a proper nation. Yes, please.
Throw it on there anyways. We need engineers. So far, could be going a lot, lot worse. Um, engineering school is not bad. Overwhelming firepower is not bad either. Weekly pony. Oh, we might honestly. I love this one a lot, but I think we'll go with that one for now. We just need the pony power. We don't have anything. I want to develop our land doctrine more, but still. Oh, you better not lose there, son. Nice. Production cost goes up for screens. Medium tank designer. Do we need anything here? No, we're doing quite well on everything, actually. Well, nothing. I'm not super concerned about stuff. Go with the ambush because that affects everybody. Because it's even more entrenchment, which is super good. Look at all that army speed just zooming up. How are we losing on attack? That makes no sense. Especially when this is not even their core territory. How do they beat us here? Convoy, so be it. Oh, well, no wonder we're losing. You ding dong, you're in the wrong territory. Go defensive for now. Get some more max entrenchment if you can. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, a little more. A little more defense, yes, please. So we've lost about how many? 37,000. We've got off how many? 85 versus 150,000. It's not bad. These are the guys that wanted to die. And the monitor's good. Uh, what else can we do here? Focus on big guns, red knights? Well, some knights <clears throat> are an institution of the old monarchy. There's no reason we can't make our own knightly orders. Loyal to our goals and aims and the peoples of our social state. Such a force would be as boon to any army to heighten our military prestige. Which is a great, great thing. Sure, guys. Yeah, hold some stuff. Thanks. We appreciate it. Need some trucks, though. Stalingrad's help. Focus on the big guns. We spent time focusing on smaller firearms. However, it is now time to focus on larger weapons, <clears throat> like trucks, such as cannons and howitzers. Infantry weapons are fine and all, but are tillers a great boon to any and all forces we put in the field. Absolutely. Oh crap! What is going on, Lake City? Um. Well, that's not good. Kai Kami should be able to defend themselves, right? Right. Red Knights. Fuck some big guns. Yes, please. Use of military magic. Military use of magic. While we grew up in drone able to cast spells in ways that opponents and their kind are capable of doing, there's so many military applicable uses of magic and like and the like that we're quite capable of using and to develop such tools and weapons would be an excellent, excellent idea. Black Hollow Mines, the bandits were sitting on a large deposit of resources and didn't realize it. But them guns down to us exploited. Which is a good thing. Um we're going to do next. Stalingrad's help. At the fellow communist states, it's only right that we send out a voyage by sea to Stalingrad and see what matters of advanced technology they can share with us. And right now we've gone pretty darn far into the Kingdom of Wing Body. We've taken quite a few casualties ourselves to do so, but we're definitely doing okay. They're definitely fighting a lot of enemies, which is really, really good, but I'd say we've made some serious progress, even though we have, like, no manpower left. Which is not good. Very, 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 very not good, so. And let's take Lake City wants to kill us again. Well, I'm thinking be busy with the other groups for now. We've got an empire to take down. And probably stop attacking all honesty right now. Probably stop attacking. Alright, so now, you guys can stop with that. Wait, what? Wait, who just... Yeah, no, we're not going to deal with that, so... Um, I'm probably going to reduce just a little bit off-screen. Uh, we'll do Stalin's Grad help, maybe, in the Port of Sidia. The old Port of Sidia is out there and mostly uses for our aims. However, we should take or make attempts. Minor supports there for more military games, but I think I'll end the episode there, because this is turning into a giant mess. But if you enjoyed the video so far, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. 
Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will uh, not die to the Kryptonian Empire, hopefully. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.